real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Dawn White and her husband, Bai Shear, say Dawn met the defendant 10 years ago. And back then, his nickname was Big Sexy. Bai Shear and the defendant are now best friends, so Dawn agreed to give the defendant a loan, but he has yet to repay her. Defendant Eric Robinson says he and the plaintiff have a 20-year history, and although he admits that they loaned him some money, he claims he never repaid them because there was no communication. Tell me what happened. Well, you, you look very handsome in person, as I would like to say, first Thank of all. Thank you. Second of all, <laughs> as does he, don't let the suit fool you because he, he's cleaned up today. Yes, I Maybe to try to make himself look a little more innocent than he really is. That's right. So. That's what he did with your money. <laughs> 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 we bought that suit. Right. <laughs> they have history together. They have known each other for years. We used to work together probably about 10 or 12 years ago at a skating rink. Um, he was a bouncer slash security. I'm not quite sure what, the, what mm -hmm. the proper PC term is when he used to call himself Big Sexy back then. So, Big Sexy. Big Sexy. <laughs> so they were a handful together, um, and they still are to this day. So. He was able to, my husband was able to vouch for him as far as, um, you know, needing a loan or whatever. And, you know, I trusted. But why didn't he ask your husband? Well, he did, but his money is tied up in investments. And, you know, I'm trying he to pull back that. the reins of that. <laughs> I see it. How long, how long you all I'm, been married? How long? How long? Um, not that long. <laughs> a, few, a few months. A few months, but we've I'm been together for a little man. while. I'm going to leave it alone. I don't want to put any <laughs> ideas in your head. No. No, but... Um, if you don't mind, I'd just like to ask him a couple questions. Oh, sure. Because I might need a sure. good investment tip. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem. In particular place, I might want to put mine <laughs> where you have yours. Uh, in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> that's not an investment. That's a savings account. <laughs> that's why I said I'm going to leave it alone. Tied up in investment. All yeah. right. That's a cold word for broke. <laughs> 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 Nonetheless. When you say that, you want to put it in love with a couple of IRAs, I can tell you, I can give you a couple of hints. All right. Plaintiff Dawn White and her husband, Vi Shear, say Dawn met the defendant 10 years ago when they worked together. And back then, his nickname at the time was Big Sexy. <laughs> Sir, why don't you give me some background on your friendship with the plaintiff and her husband? The background on us, we got about 20 years invested. Um, I went to him looking for a loan, basically, to go get some upgrade on my motorcycle. Um, he didn't have the funds. What did he tell you exactly? He, he said, I ain't got it. He said, tied up in he investments. He said, tied up in no investment. <laughs> right. He said, I ain't got it. That, that's right. personal. So business. when he said he ain't got it, he ain't got it. So I came to him two days later. We still talking about payday loan, stuff like that. He said, You ain't got to do it. At the time, and just now, I found out they weren't wife and husband and wife, they was mm -hmm. friends. Okay. So he threw her underneath the bus. I jumped on the bus. He didn't throw her underneath the bus. <laughs> he, he sacrificed for you. Right, exactly. Right. He took a major risk. Some women may leave their men because their buddies rip them off at their suggestion. She could say, your boy ain't pay me. Now, you get going until you bring my money back. Mm. You could have messed your man's thing up. You don't have a woman? What you call him? Big and sexy? Big, <laughs> big, no, that's what he called himself. Yeah. I don't call him that. Uh, big sexy couldn't go to the bar hey, from your women? It's more convenient to go to your friend. You know, it, at the time, they, they say they got it, they got it, and the, the loan payback was what it was. You know, it was trying to get paid back, and I went to my friend to let him know what the situation was, and two days later, you get a text message about some crazy stuff. I said, what forget crazy it. stuff? Well, she texted me two days later. It was due on the Tuesday. Mm -hmm. On the Thursday, she texted me saying we played phone tag. She's saying that due to the unforeseen circumstances, she has to go file court papers and do the legal stuff to get her money back. It was just one more day till I got paid. Like I had told him, I'd get her the money. He didn't want to relay the message to her. So, oh, so he, she didn't get your message. She didn't get my message. That no, you were going to pay her Friday. No, because he didn't tell her, and then we played phone tag. That's not true. 
That's not true. How do you know true. if he didn't tell you? Because he, I did not want to interfere with their friendship. Right. And I let That's them know said. that, I let them know that from the beginning. Okay. Me giving him this loan, Take it will not interfere do. with their friendship. It has absolutely nothing to do with him. But did he tell you to deliver that message to your wife? No. He did not say that. He did not okay. say that. All right, Lisa's sticking he with your wife. He should have contacted me. Lisa's sticking with your wife yeah. this time. <laughs> well, I know. I always stick with my wife. Uh, I'm like, here, you threw her under the bus. Go get your money from her, man. Judge. She got plenty of money. Judge, I mean, yeah. basically what I want to say for real, yes, I took the loan out. They was good enough to loan me the loan. I done what I done with it. I wanted to pay it back. I still want to pay it back. But all we got to do is communicate. It was no communication. We played phone tag due to her profession and mine's. It was just no communication. All right, we'll let her know. Tell her you'll pay her back. I'll pay you back, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're dog. late. Pay you're late. <laughs> he was late paying me well, back. He's pay your interest. Go. $480. Yes. And I'm going to make sure you pay it back. <laughs> Judgment for the plan. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> my friend, the man, would have took care of his responsibility. It wasn't my responsibility. It was your responsibility good. You to, to what I'm communicate saying? with her. You should have called me. I'm talking me. to you now. You should have called It's me. good, right. It's good. Because I had to talk to you in the first place. Yes. So yes. it's good. Yes. But I, good. I appreciate it. OK. All right. <laughs> no more loans. OK. Hug. I got to hug three people. I can't hug three people. <laughs> yeah, right. Play it. <laughs> right, right.